Welcome to Cunningham Piano. I'm Hugh Sung, and I'm with a fantastic guest. His name is Dwayne Hilton, and he is the president of Lacefield Music, which is a piano store based out in St. Louis, Missouri. That's right. Dwayne, welcome. Thank you for that introduction. Well, actually, I wish we should, we're both being welcomed because we're both uh, been, we, we've had this incredible experience being invited by Yamaha to participate in a very exclusive piano training workshop. It really has. It's been three days of, of just being wowed and uh, what's going on behind Yamaha and, and what's really happening there. So our first day we were comparing, you know, tasting pianos, you know, comparing the different qualities. And then the second day was pretty incredible. We actually got a chance to, to walk through the factory at Kagegawa. Uh, so we're right now we're in Hamamatsu, which is the headquarters city of Yamaha, which we'll get to in just a second. And uh, Kagegawa is about 30 minutes about a drive 30 minute away. drive. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a port city, uh, which is very interesting in and of itself in terms of being very close to their shipping logistics. Mm -hmm. But we got a chance to go and really, as you said, see how the sausage is made. We got to see pianos from, from wood scraps, not some wood scraps, but from piles of wood to finished gorgeous to finish. pianos. I, I, Dwayne, I want to just kind of pan this off to you. What, what were some of the things that impressed you the most? You know, I, I really think, you know, I, obviously we've we learned something every day that we've been involved with this. Sure. Um, uh, and we, you know, our eyes were open really what's happening. But I gotta say that second day was where we actually got to, mm -hmm. to, to do the factory, really see the what's going on. Yeah. Uh, that's probably some of the stuff that, that most impressed me. And and I'll just tell you some highlights. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah some highlights. Um, and, and as you said, we saw everything from from when we first walked in. They were they were building U ones, and mm -hmm. we we were watching that from from how they do the sound boards to how they were putting them on the frame to how they were, you know. And and and, and when they talk about Japanese precision and Japanese skill, um, yes, there are um, there are robots that machines where it's, when 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 we talk about precision. That, that we saw that how precise and how exact and everything was. But, but to take that another step, it definitely isn't all about that, that, that the robots and the precisions and the machines. I, I was so impressed with, number one, of course, yes, there were robots that did precision cuts mm -hmm. and, and precision measurements. I mean, real, robots really at every stage, there were robots tuning even. There were. There were and was, yet, complementing every robot that was at least two or three human beings overseeing. I mean, it was, it was a complete marriage between human hands and, and technology. And the technology is really, I mean, I think more in terms of just assisting the humans. He, assisting know? the humans, assisting right. Assisting the humans so, in, in the sense of, um, like, you know, just, there's just really clever ways of lifting the pianos, moving them around, and, and just getting the piano so that these people don't have to do it themselves. They can focus on doing their jobs right. really, really well. Does that make sense? It, it, it makes sense. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and one of the things that we've, we've really been touching on is yeah. uh, since we've been here for the last last three days yeah. is that, you know, that, that human element, you know, we, we, we got to see these, you know, the, the workers there and the, the skills that, oh that, that it takes yeah. to, to, to build a Yamaha piano. And, you know, and, and it takes years of training and, and understudy just to be able to be at the factory to be able to build these right. these products. And I mean, we saw everything from from people who who are stringing you know the piano wire by hand yes, and and, yes. the, and exactly what that takes. It's not done by machine. It's done by hand. Where where you can actually when they, when they wind the copper yeah. around the string, yeah. it's got to it. it it's got to be done by human hand because they they want it so much apart so so well, that you that, have the vibration. I, that's what's really interesting because I mean there's this beautiful balance between absolute precision which Yamaha is known for. Right. And yet. And consistency. Consistency, yes. Right. But also that human element. This is something I learned. Mm -hmm. What's the big deal about hand spun bass strings? Well it turns out yes you can spin you could basically what we're talking about are piano wires and the, the lower strings need to have more mass. So what they do, they'll take a steel piano wire core yeah. and they'll wrap a layer of copper wire around it mm -hmm. to make it thicker. It's a very easy thing for a machine to do this. The problem is that it actually sounds too sterile. That's right. And you really want a human element of 
human imperf in, in, uh, that, human inconsistency. I mean, it sounds weird, but it's that it's that quality that makes the the piano sound human, not and, and sterile. Right. Why? It, and really, what? Yeah, to give it a human elephant, yeah. it makes it sound good. Yeah. And really, it has to do when the hammer strikes a string, how that string is actually vibrating. That's, Warmly. That's, Warmly, and that's yeah. that's kind of what we're talking about when it's hand, but but even beyond hand wound strings, yeah. um, I saw so much more. Um, well, 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 another thing yeah. that impressed oh, me. Well, no, 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 yeah. guys, because this again, this is our, my eyes were open. You know, they do have robots doing like the fr every piano gets tuned like four times. The first two times the robots are tuned, they have these automated robotic systems, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. You know, they they'll do a basic tuning, mm -hmm. but then the last two always are humans. Humans. They have uh, human ears. Having, yeah. having that ears, having that eyes right. really on the subject. Yes, yes. And yeah. To, they really care about that. Yeah, you know? to yeah. be able to do that. Right, right. Um, so, so the tunings, we, we got to see those, you know, the people actually tuning. They, the, the, the pianos would come into the room right. um, and, and they would tune it. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. And it was just so amazing. After that, of course, uh, uh, we saw things, like, you know, well, actually, before the tuning, we saw the hammers being put together, sure. glued and actually put by hand on, on the I mean they have some really cool ways of doing it right but it's still done by hand done by hand right. uh, the action checks yeah. whenever they were, they were going through every action making sure everything was regulated perfectly yeah. all of that was done by hand by hand the voicing of the hammers by hand they were going every in they were account. needling yeah. the hammers that was a human element and yeah. to watch that the skill it takes of these workers to be able to do that it was just yeah. You know, all, you know, all of this just really touched me on, on you know, it's 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 not just a mass-produced piano. No, it, it, there's that human element where right. it takes a long time, uh, from skills to to even the seasoning of the wood all the way to the finished product. It, it takes an incredible amount of skill and and yet, you know, with with Yamaha being the the world's largest piano producer, what's so fascinating? is that number, I, I was just absolutely stunned with the precision of the assembly line, how mm -hmm. they were able to, to coordinate. And it was like, for me, it was like a symphony, mm -hmm. you know, a, a written symphony with all this incredible planning in terms of uh, the logistics between one station to another and an orchestra actually performing all of those functions, all these working, all these workers working in absolute precision harmony with each other. Yeah, and, and you had actually yeah. alluded that to that to, to yeah, that in some yeah. discussions and meetings we had yeah, with yeah, the Yamaha yeah. yesterday. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Hugh, you're absolutely right. You know, it just seems like it's a it's an orchestra. It takes it, you know it takes many many parts to make something beautiful and many, many people to and, make something together, make something And beautiful. that level of precision in terms of the scale that they have to do it at, you know, and yet do it with the human element still intact. Absolutely. That's, that was mind blowing. I, I was, yeah. Really a, a few more things that impressed me, just, yeah. to, just to kind of just tell you a little bit more. Um, every piano is checked. I oh mean, yeah, you remember? Checked and checked and checked before it's ever put in a box uh, to well, get we, ready. We saw that upright piano, right? Remember right. it was a U1, I think. Yeah. And there's like, well, so can, show us, can you see the defect? Oh, we're like, this piano like, looks perfect. This looks like a perfect piano. And, and they, they, they showed us the back, of, the back of a piano, which really nobody ever looks at. Exactly. Everybody looks at the front of a piano. Right, right, right. But on the back of this upright, I could not even tell, but maybe there was just... There's a, a tiny little bit of the varnish, not like, like, a, like a spot, literally less than this. A little bit lighter than another piece. It's like, like a little dot. A dot. And nope, they took that piece. I mean, this is... They took it off of the assembly. This was the quality control <laughs> that we saw. I mean, there's, I mean, and, and, and as a dealer, if that piano came in, I would have like, never we, noticed. We, we, we'd like, oh, that'd be fine. Yeah. But they won't let it go. Won't let it go. And we have, we saw one young lady whose sole job is to stare at the piano, run her finger over every crease and corner with specially designed lights so that she could see any defects. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, incredible. The, the quality control is amazing. Of course, uh, uh, then later on that afternoon, just uh, we got to see a little bit more stuff with the factory. We got yeah. to see more of the grand pianos. That was how they, amazing. How they bend the wood and how, yeah. how, how that how the rims are put together. Yeah. Um, how soundboards are. It, it was amazing how they were gluing ribs. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. 
and, and, and a guy was doing it, you know? And a guy was and doing it. And a guy it. was right there gluing these ribs down and just checking to make sure that the glue is consistently being applied, you know? That's right. Um, and, and and there's a guy dedicated to just doing the detail, the, the Yamaha decal on the soundboard. That, we were all impressed <laughs> with him. We were all impressed. Uh, how they actually season uh, soundboards. Yeah. Um, and they have a... What's also really interesting is that with all the different models, they're not, they're, they have a different procedure for each model, the, you know? Yeah, that, I found that very interesting. Very good point, Hugh. You yeah. know, um, you, you know, it, 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 that's right. For every every model, they are, they are, they they've got the recipe, if yeah. you will. Yeah. They got the recipe on how are we going to make this piano be at its very best, and it's different. Yeah, it's the, different the, the rims are. Yeah, exactly. Right. The rims are. A, of a different combination of right. laminate woods for mm -hmm. one model as mm -hmm. opposed to another. Like, right. well, there's just a few, you know, a few inches different size. No, there is a specific way to apply that, right? A specific way to put that recipe together, and oh, and, and they've done a great job. Yeah. Uh, we got to see some, a few other things about um, uh, a, a rather new technology. Um, it actually came out of violins. Yeah, and, that and Yamaha guitars, did right? and guitars. Yeah. It's called their ARE technology, and it's just another acoustic resonance enhancement. Yeah. That's right, and it's just another way of, of of basically making that wood sound like it's like it's an aged wood, like it's it's been around and really be able to resonate like a well, like like mature. What's, what's interesting is they were explaining a little bit of the science with it. You know, with a raw piece of wood, the grains are kind of randomly assembled. Over time, and some for violence, it can take hundreds of years. Right. Right. But over time, what happens with vibrations, consistent vibrations, those vibrations will align those grains and those layers in, in symmetry, make them straighter so they're more efficient at producing those sounds. Well, Yamaha found a way of doing that in a fraction of the time, but with the same effect, and they, and, but no, no chemicals, no damage to no, the wood. No. And you've, now you've got this mature, molecularly, you know, identical process mm -hmm. I mean that's that's game changing it's it, it is game changing mm -hmm. and then and then just to just to finish off that second day how they basically were assembling the grand pianos at the end how they were uh, uh, it's amazing they were um, uh, uh, of course, the high gloss finish. The nanoparticle machine. Uh, it's uh, like, what? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's... I mean, most piano manufacturers just spray paint and put a, put a little bit of polyurethane. No, they have a whole nanoparticle percent. It's like something out of Star Trek. It's like, what? It's it, it Unbelievable. Was, it was amazing how they yeah. finished the post that's underneath the piano. That Even was that, nobody nice, looks at nice that. And yet there's an artisan painting the posts right. by hand, right? By hand. And, you know, I also love the master craftsman stations. Remember we had, there were like four or five dedicated rooms. That's right. And these are- We these got are, a sneak peek into seeing right. uh, what they call their premier pianos. Yeah. So yeah. we got to really see, uh, uh, we found out that there's really only five, what they call master technicians, yeah. Yeah. that's really allowed to have their hands to, to, to build the CFX series, yeah. the CF6, the CF4, yeah. and of course the SX series. Yeah. This is what we call our, uh, uh, Yamaha calls their premium pianos. These are the top of the top line. And the Hugh, finest Hugh and I were honored to uh, to be able to kind of see, not see everything in that room, but enough to see what's uh, what's really happening and the skill it takes, and yeah. and to hear how they voice the pianos. They were gracious. I mean, these are very sweet people, you know. But you could tell they love what they're doing, and and they were giving gracious and giving us a, just a small fraction of a demonstration of their incredible skill mm -hmm. and their thought processes mm -hmm. in terms of what they're aiming for. And again, the hand craftsmanship. Right. It's, and the, the, you know. And I, I, think, I think that's what's, what's the beautiful thing, you know, just seeing the hands that build these things, right. these fine instruments. We even, we even had a chance to spend some time with the, the, one of the world's greatest piano technicians, if we can call him that. You know, Ace was giving us a, a, a master class, you know, on on, on on what it takes to tune a piano. And I, I think that what's interesting is that he has a whole philosophy. You know, we I I I'll admit, you know, we think of tuning as a rather simplistic process, but he was talking about this whole new way of tuning that that, that actually makes the sound project. Project. It's, bigger, it's clear, it has character. I'm like, 
who thinks about this? This is I, I thought this was absolute genius. It, it, it was know? genius, and, uh, and, and, and yeah, we're, we're talking about a you know a person who's a whole nother level. I mean, this this is. This is Yamaha's best of the best. And they, they have a whole academy of, of young people that are coming around from all over the world to learn these techniques. And, and it's an integrated approach. It's not this sort of like, you know. You That's just, something I was yeah. impressed with yeah. at, the, yeah. at the factory, you know, seeing lots of different age yeah. ranges. Yeah. You know, yeah. you, you and I, we, we ate with the workers That's in the true. cafeteria. That's true. That's right. They're not just uh, younger people. We saw all generations. All generations. Some people that have been there all their, their whole lives, yep. right? And then, but yet people that are just coming out of school. Right, young and, people too. Yep, young people. And I think they said like the retention rate, like almost nobody leaves Yamaha. They just stay there. Yeah. You know, there's, yeah. Place, there's a place for them to grow and contribute, you know, yeah. at all stations of life. And, yeah. and that was, I thought that was really beautiful. Yeah. You know? The factory was one of my favorites, but today yeah. we got to see some really cool stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. One of the things we did, um, we actually got to see the actual shipping and logistics. It's it's not in Kakagawa. It's not, it's not, not a very sexy thing to talk about, right? No. Shipping, logistics, you wouldn't like think. putting pianos in boxes and then sending them all over the world. What's the big deal? It's a whole process. Oh, my goodness, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we got to see that, of course. Uh, I, I, honestly, I thought what's, I was not looking forward to it, right. but once I was there, like, I could not believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and, yeah. And, and, yeah. and Hugh, you know, you, you and I both work in the United States, and yeah. a lot of times we just think United States, but we don't think the global yeah. idea of right. of Yamaha and how they're involved with basically in every country in the world. Yeah. You know, yeah. they have shipping. They have shipping. Um, this logistics partner, right? Because that's just dedicated to warehousing yeah. their pianos, as well as uh, what we call the, the, the KDs, the knockdowns. <laughs> right. That was pretty interesting too. So um, all of the pianos and all of the piano parts are made in one of two factories, you know, either the Kagakawa factory That's right. or another factory in Japan. Right. 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 That's correct. All of those parts. So either you have a whole piano that's boxed and ready to go, or you have all the parts you need to put the piano together mm -hmm. that are being shipped out to their other factories spread throughout Asia. That's right. To assemble those pianos. That's right. And that was something that we, they wanted to show. So, see, see this, these are all coming from Japan, no matter what piano it is. That's right. If it says made in Indonesia, yes, it's made in Indonesia, but with with Yamaha Japanese built parts. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. And, and whenever we went there, we, um, you know, we really got to see immediately on the dock, they were, they were loading up shipping containers that were being filled with the Yamaha pianos in a box yeah. that's gonna was yeah. gonna go to uh, Hamburg Germany right 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 and and just the forklifts and the way they're so careful handling oh my these pianos goodness. the way they load them up on the dock and to the shipping containers right. they have the of course these these uh, forklift drivers are extremely skilled uh, but even they have the right tools and little tricks they could do it to where they do the there's going to be no damage done to the piano and the handling. And the care. The care. And even with uh, what I thought was, I was really impressed also with their inventory software system. How they yes. can locate every single part. Of course, you know, they, Yamaha makes 25% of all the world's musical instruments, as well as, you know, the, the, the by far the largest piano manufacturer. That's right. But they have this incredibly organized system to find every part, every piano seamlessly and to know exactly how much space there is in the warehouse so that everything can just go right into its place. And we saw just about everything clean. in that warehouse. It was clean. But you could eat off of that floor. That's yeah. ridiculous. But this is where they warehouse clarinets and guitars and keyboards. And euphoniums. And, <laughs> and euphoniums. Uh, uh, trombones, uh, uh, mixing everything. boards, uh, speakers, everything that, that really Yamaha yeah. uh, produces is shipped out of here around the world. And, and as Hugh alluded to, you know, everything is, it, it's so clean, so well organized. Everything's got a perfect spot on a shelf exactly where they got to go so they can just pick it, load it onto a container, yeah. and have it and ready to go. I almost, you know, felt like there's an art to that as well. You know? Oh, absolutely. The art in the organization, the art in the execution, and that passion for like, we're not just doing our job. We really want to make sure that everybody understands we care about these instruments and we're, we, uh, you know, the, that legendary consistency and level of quality is like, who does that these days? Right. Who cares at that level? Right. And, and just want to make sure yeah. that, that their product 
gets on a container to get shipped to, well, in our case, to Los Angeles right, right. Um, uh, in the United States right. and to where it's going to, uh, uh, in, it's going to get there safely. Right. So ultimately it's going to come to you and I shop yeah, 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 yeah. where we're going to tune it and make right. sure, go over it, make yeah. sure everything's great. Uh, and hopefully where you're going to buy it and it's going to be just as good as whenever it gets into your home is whenever it left the factory. I think and that's, that's yeah. exciting. I think what's, what's so cool is that Dwayne and I are, have really seen the whole process. We're not just getting pianos into our store and you know, putting a price tag on them, but we've seen the love, the care, the passion that goes into every single component, every wire. I, I, I didn't know they did hand-spun wires on an upright piano. Yeah. Well, who does that? But they do that, and we've seen firsthand what goes into every single piano and it, I'm just like I feel so lucky wow I'm in the I'm in, I get to work with pianos and with people who love the pianos more than I do I, I don't think right. I, I thought I, I loved I, pianos, I, I didn't think I was possible but, but they love it to such a an, at the nth degree they, right. they put me to shame a little bit like wow I wish I had that kind of passion right Amazing. but it didn't in there yeah. Today, yeah. Uh, after after we went to the warehouse, yeah. uh, what was really neat is that we got to see um, here in Hamamatsu, uh, we got to see really the the corporate offices, the uh, that side of, oh, of that Yamaha. Was so cool! And this is a place where there's there's thousands of workers, two thousand people working in these two thousand two buildings, right? Two buildings to yeah. take care of uh, all Yamaha's needs. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, make sure everybody's taken care of I around mean, the world. It looked like we were in the offices. Of, I, I don't know. I've never been in the offices of Google or Facebook, but I could imagine these super high-tech offices. I mean, like that was pretty neat. Yeah, we, and, and again, uh, like we had lunch with uh, with the workers in the which is great, Kakegawa, yeah, which is yeah. great. We got to have lunch lunch with the office yeah, workers yeah, today, yeah, and yeah. it was a the whole cafeteria and all these. Again, I saw many many ages there. Everything yes. From, Yes. From 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 the younger crowd who maybe just got out of university or right. college, yeah. all the way to people who look like they were getting ready Seasoned for retirement. People. Right, right. Getting ready. All to and they were all just interacting together as colleagues. That's pretty cool. There's something here. I, I think there's something very healthy about that intergenerational cooperation and collaboration. When I right. see that, it, it looks like family. Right. You know? and, and if I could just wrap it up, because uh, Hugh and I, we also uh, in, in our district managers. We, we, we got a great um, great chance, you know. I, I think this also very much impressed me about Yamaha. I don't know about this about you, but we got to have some meetings. We, we can't share everything in those meetings, but, but one of the things that they, that they do want to know is our opinion. Yeah. And, and I yeah. felt like we got to talk freely about them. Mm -hmm. And Yamaha really seems like, a, um, well, they, they, like they want to listen and they want to yeah. do what's best for... And for us, they didn't want us just to simply compliment them because we we I, I, we're pretty strong strong minded, right? Right. We we shared some very strong opinions in terms of things we saw that we want to improve, we want to see them improve, and they were like we they were actually really grateful that we were so honest, right? In our feedback and to be able yeah. to to want to listen, yeah, you know, yeah. and bring us out here for for uh, of, of course you know we're not advising, but they but they want to hear what we have to say yeah. maybe our concerns you know and, and what's going on and how how we're Different out ideas yeah. and we're out there in the front every day as we right. said you know we're this is a manufacturing side all the way to where we're dealing right. face to face with that right. customer or potential customer right. who's interested in the yeah. yamaha and, and 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 they really want to make sure that that's seamless and they want to make sure everything works from beginning to end that impressed me you know i can't think of a of a piano company in the world that is so passionate and that really, you know, their mission is to make pianos available, that get everybody to play a piano, mm -hmm. to play, make music. You we know, make we it available, yeah, make yeah. it available for everyone to enjoy, to discover the joy of making music for themselves. You know? They do, and, 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 and that's why Yamaha makes so many different products and so many different piano uh, ranges. But the best. But the best pianos for everybody. You know, it's right. just, just amazing. Right. Watch so. the wire.
Yes. <laughs> it's yes. a hotel, what can we say? <laughs> yeah. That's right. And, and you know, I think one of the neatest, neatest things is that I got a chance to meet you. Hey, Hugh. You know, it is so, so, so great to hang out with you these couple of days, you know? Hugh's song's been, been, been great. If I, can, if I can get off shop a little <laughs> bit, this guy is a, a phenomenal pianist. And of course, I've, he's just a great human being and just a per great person to be around. And, and, and he's been to Japan before, uh, before and, uh, but, but, but just made me feel welcome. And, and it's made the whole experience uh, fantastic. Of course, we've eaten great food. Uh, if those that don't know Hugh, he's a foodie. <laughs> and and he's, he's been telling me about some of this food and some of the stuff that I've never tried before, but he's helping me through it. And Dwayne has been just so, such a, a warm person and so welcoming and he's just been so interactive. And I can see why of all the dealers around the country, Yamaha would select you to come along on this trip. This is just you and me and two <laughs> district managers. Yeah, you know? yeah, it, it's, it's I amazing. Mean, I, it's, I, I mean, I'm in, I, I'm in an amazing company. I, He's I, the president of his piano shop. I mean, the love that he has, the passion he has for what he does. And you can say, I mean, he's also having so much fun doing it and his oh, yeah. generosity. We're sharing ideas. I mean, this guy is in, and the innovation that he and his, his store mates are doing, unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, really great yeah. ideas that you guys have. And you love your people, your, your passion about educating your constituents, your right. community. Right, well, 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 Hugh, I, I, I gotta say, you know, I, I, I think you're in the same boat, you know, you share right, the same, right, right. You we're share we're the we're same we're passion, <laughs> you share the same uh, love, and, and you wanna educate as well. We do, we and, both I, and I've do. heard that, um, and, and that's what these videos are all about, educating you, letting you see what, what's really going on behind the scenes and what, what making music is all about. Uh, he and I strongly feel that, you know, learning to play the piano is really for everybody. A absolutely, absolutely. And, yeah. and whatever piano that, that happens to be, that happens to be, but we feel that that start playing the piano, that's the most important absolutely. thing you could be doing. Absolutely, and, and I think another really cool thing is that we're both Yamaha dealers and we're like so supportive of each other. I mean, I wanna see him succeed like crazy and mm -hmm. we, we are, we're backed by the world's best mm -hmm. music company. I, I mean, we I are believe so, that. we're so lucky. We are. You know, so. We are. Wayne, thank you so much. Thank you. This is so much fun. All right. I gotta, awesome. I, I gotta come out to St. Louis sometime soon. Yeah. You gotta It'd come out to Philly. Yeah. 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 Right. I, I, we, we were talking. I'd love to come out to Philly. Yeah, and, absolutely. And I'd love to go to uh, Bookbinders, but you told There's me. There's no more Bookbinders. This go. <laughs> yeah. So we'll just have to come to Japan again <laughs> right. and have our seafood fix here. <laughs> That's right. Bye, everybody. Take care.